there's a catch 22. There's also the Taylor Swift song 22. What what the heck is COVID 22, and why the heck is it trending on Twitter? As you may know, COVID-19 is short for Coronavirus Disease 2019, a disease caused by the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2, SARS-CoV-2. It's got the 19 at the end of it not because there have been 18 other COVIDs as Ted Nugent may have thought, which I covered previously for Forbes. It's also not because the virus is now 19 years old and old enough to legally drink in Canada and gamble in Alabama and Nebraska. No, the 19 has been there because the SARS-CoV-2 was first was first detected in December 2019. But there hasn't been a COVID-20 or a COVID-21 because all of the variants that have emerged during the ongoing pandemic have been from the same lineage or family as the original SARS-CoV-2. The Alpha, Beta, Delta, Gamma, Lambda, and other variants of concern and interest listed on the World Health Organization WHO, website have all resulted from progressive mutations in the genetic material of the original SARS-CoV-2. In other words, all of these variants descended from the initial version that began spreading. For such variants, the answer to the question, who's your daddy, would be the COVID-19 coronavirus. But now the word COVID-22 is trending on Twitter as the following tweet pointed out in fact, by Monday afternoon, there were over 58,000 tweets with that term it seems to have left quite a few people rather confused so is COVID-22 a new official term from the WHO or the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, or some other scientific organization? Is COVID-22 even real? Well, it seems like this COVID-22 term emerged from what Cy Reddy, PhD, an associate professor of systems and synthetic immunology at EPH Zurich in Switzerland, may have said. According to Vanessa Chalmers' writing for The Sun, Reddy warned that a new variant could emerge in 2022 that could pose a big risk. The emphasis here is on the words could and could because we are not in 2022 yet, not unless Reddy has a time machine. Reportedly, he referred to this possibility as COVID-22 by saying, COVID-22 could get worse than what we are witnessing now. Apparently, he used the term COVID-21 when referring to the Delta variant when speaking to the a German publication called Blick. Okay, first of all, the Delta variant was initially detected in October of 2020 in India, not in 2021. So any 21 term wouldn't quite work unless it's some kind of new blackjack hand. Secondly, the Delta variant is a variation of the original SARS-CoV-2 that can cause COVID-19. It is still a COVID-19 coronavirus. So no one should be using the term COVID-21 to describe the Delta variant. That would be like preparing a baby shower gift for your best friend from college that says, congratulations on new impending baby rhinoceros.